Guys, this is the final Zana episode. We made it, and I'm proud of every single one of you. This is an unprecedented situation. How can you be that fucking smug already? We've only just started. It's rare that a woman of colour becomes famous through no work of her own. Famous? Eh, not so much. Infamous? Hell yeah. <laughs> Oh, you fucking laughing cunt. You're like the little kid who sticks her tongue out at the other kid being told off. Have some fucking dignity, you cock gobbler. And you probably don't like me very much. Likely, you don't like me very much. But that's okay. Zana, I don't need your permission to hate you, everything you stand for, and your distant relatives. And if ever I feel the hate begin to ebb, I just watch this. <laughs> fucking laughing cunt. What I want, what I'm hoping for, what my prayer is, is that now, after watching these videos, after listening to these videos, you might start to notice patriarchy all around you, because it's always been there. You know, if you replaced the word patriarchy with the word ghosts, you still wouldn't sound any more off the chain mental than you already do. The truth is, is that my situation is nothing special. Alright, you said it, not me. I mean, I, I have been saying it for a while, but you just agreed with me. I simply went through publicly what women and marginalised people go through privately every single day. Really? So every day, women and marginalised people chase someone out of a building screaming humongous what at the top of their lungs? Fuck me, I just learned something new. I hope that you notice the connection between my race and my gender. Oh yeah, yeah, the link between race and gender. Yes, yeah, obvious. All Indians are women. We know that. You ain't got any men at all. We know that. We ain't got a fucking clue how you guys reproduce, but I mean, that is common knowledge. Fucking hell. In how I've been treated, the racial slurs, and the slurs that are Islamophobic. <laughs> I'm not Muslim, but that's not the point. Fucking hell. We know you're not Muslim, Zana, because we can see your fucking face. Although, to be fair, that would solve a good couple of problems. Have you ever considered converting? The fact is, is that Islamophobia is just another type of racism. Except Islam isn't a race, so you can add that to the list of things you've got horribly wrong. The slurs against my background from India and my background as a brown woman. All of those things are wrapped up in imperialism, in white supremacy, in racism and colonisation. Zana, you are a British woman with Indian heritage currently rocking around America. Can you really talk about colonisation? It's the cops who are going after me. It's those in power, those with weapons, those who are patriarchal gangs. Ooh we Had a couple of men in white coats chasing you around with a straitjacket and we got ourselves a party who want to try to keep those who are marginalised quiet. All of the intimidation tactics, it's all been designed to keep me quiet. But I won't be quiet. Ah, oh, come on, really? I mean, is there nothing we can do? And that means I'm in a lot of danger. The only danger you're in is maybe smacking yourself in the face with one of those saggy boobs in high wind. That is it. People that I know, people who care about me, have been saying, you don't have to do this, but I'm a woman of colour in a white man's world. Are you sure about that though? Are you sure they're not saying, please stop doing this, you're bringing dishonour to our family and dishonour to our cow? Do you really think that for me, it's been anything different? Oh, definitely not. No, no. I mean, most people just brush this shit off, but you put on your goggles and you dove right in, didn't you? Anyone who speaks out, anyone who challenges the patriarchal power structure, anyone who challenges the white supremacist structure, is going to be targeted. Oh, so that's what the mark on your forehead is. It's actually a sniper aiming at you, got it. Oh, but you see, we're supposed to be the model minority. We're supposed to be the people who just quietly do work and quietly are reliable and quietly engineer things and treat patients and file lawsuits and do all of those things and be really reliable, but never actually say anything to question the white supremacist structure. Are you implying all Indians become either engineers, doctors, or lawyers? Because that's pretty racist. And you forgot dentists. 
this has to end. This idea that somehow, because we might get a good job, that means that we don't see the pain and suffering of not only ourselves, but everyone else. Oh, of course it doesn't. But then a steady paycheck can make quite the difference. So when you're a model minority and you think, oh no, but it's okay for us, at least it's not as bad as black people. The truth is, until black people are free, until women are free, until gay and transgender people are free, no one is free. I'm free. Three feet long. I'm as high as hell and you're about to get shot. No one, including us. Including us. You know, you really fuck up any attempt to be genuine, Zana. It's like watching a retarded child dress up as an adult. I want to clear up the lies, okay? Because there are so many lies. The first lie, of course, is that I'm a Black Lives Matter organiser. It's not true. I'm not. I'm in solidarity with Black Lives Matter. No, that's cool. That's cool. But while we're here, fuck Black Lives Matter. Don't think you're not on my radar, motherfuckers. I'll get to you in due course. The second lie is that they said that I approached him and asked him for his name. I didn't. Oh, well, let's throw the whole thing out the window then. The Earth is flat, gravity doesn't exist, and Daniel Radcliffe is actually a good actor. We were all wrong, guys. I never asked him for his name. He approached me and asked me if I wanted his name. He didn't approach you. You were filming him. A and is that really the issue here? And because I was being polite, I said, sure. And yet what you notice immediately after that happens is he immediately lies and says, why did you ask for my name? That's what the patriarchy does. Ah, oh, the patriarchy asks simple questions. Protect this woman now. That's what men do every single time. It's called gaslighting. When you immediately tell the woman that what just happened didn't just happen that way. Oh right, you don't mean the patriarchy, you mean the internet and everyone who saw you make an ass of yourself in public. But no, 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 I'm sure we are all wrong and you're the only one that's right. When you immediately try to make yourself, the man, out to be the victim. That's what gaslighting is, that's abusive, and that is what women go through every single day. Whenever you say gaslighting, it just makes me think of someone setting fire to their own farts. It's all in there, in the video. It's very clear. You know why? Because rape culture and sexual harassment is so normal and so accepted that that man who sexually harassed me... No, he didn't. ...thought that he could do that. He could do what he did on camera and get away with it. You know, actually, I think he came off better in the whole transaction. I mean, look at this. Look at this here. Now, the aim of this was to raise $10,000 for him, and it currently stands at $148,000. Whereas your donations page... Uh, the battle's over, Zana. You lost. That's how normal rape culture and sexual harassment is. That's why men think they can get away with anything. Because if, if they can get away with sexually harassing you on camera, they can get away with raping you in private. And, and come on, let's be fair. Raping in public is just rude. And they don't even just rape women in private either. They tape it and post it online and people see it and they still get away with it. Well, no. I mean, if the culprit is recognisable in the video, then no, of course they don't get away with it. That's just a stupid fucking thing to say, isn't it? But no one asks the victim what they were wearing at the time because it's all on video. So th that's a plus, isn't it? The fact that they're saying that I said it was sexual assault. I never did. I always said sexual harassment. Look, it really doesn't matter when you obviously don't know what either of them mean. You know why they said that? Because they don't know the difference between sexual harassment and sexual assault. They think it's all the same because they think none of it really matters. Come on, Zana. Of course it matters when the claim is legitimate. If yours was, you'd have taken Humongous to court. Did you take him to court, Zana? Or is he $150,000 better off than you right now? Gaslighting. Setting fire to your own farts. And lying. And deliberately blaming the victim. Is normal in a rape culture. 
and every single woman knows it. Every single woman knows it. Every time he said to you, that's not how it happened. God, you're so crazy. You're hysterical right now. Oh, you know what? You're a psycho right now. Why don't you just calm down? That's not what happened. Every time he says that to a woman. Would you have listened if it came from a woman then, Zana? Because there are plenty who will tell you. Every time that has been said to a person of colour, every time that has been said to a queer or transgender person, they took stock of their actions and realised they were being over-emotional? I mean, that would be the same thing to do. It's abusive and it's patriarchy. The man who sexually harassed me, Rudy Pantoja, didn't sexually harass you and is actually one of the nicest guys in the world. How do I know that? 148,000 different ways. He stalked me afterwards. He stalked me. He found my email. I don't know how he found it. But he found my email. He sent me multiple emails from his email, from his phone, creepy things, pictures. Are you sure he sent you creepy pictures, Zana? It couldn't have been your reflection on the screen? Asking me out on dates to lunch and coffee. Yeah, no, actually, I, I read that. I read about that. I think that is mighty big of him to try and clear the air with you like that. That's called stalking. Oh, right. See, I thought he was being the bigger person, but well, yeah, live and learn. And the fact that there's anyone out there who could look at that and think, oh, he was reaching out to me. No, no, that's rape culture. Yeah, sending emails, fucking rapist. No man has a right to reach out to any woman that he's abused. Well, I mean, actually, he, he can, unless there's a court order preventing him. I mean, I, I thought Indians were supposed to become lawyers. Read a fucking book. Because he emailed me. Because he texted, he texted me from his phone. Well, I have all of his contact information. I have his email. I have his phone number. I haven't released any of those things. You know why? Um, I, I, I don't know. I mean, off the top of my head, uh, because the public already hate you with enough vehemence to power the state of Georgia for over a fortnight and any more will overload the grid? Because I'm worried about his kids. I'm worried about his family. Oh, fuck off. I saw better acting in the movie version of The Woman in Black and that entire film can lick my lefty. Fucking Daniel Radcliffe. I don't want them to go through what my friends have gone through, what my community has gone through. Fuck me, I I'll tell you what though, I do feel sorry for your friends and community. I mean, most of us are smart enough not to tar them with the same brush, but fucking hell, their loyalties must have been tested. There we are. We're in this situation. I don't know how much longer this is going to go on. Well, uh, hopefully for a while. I mean, since your donations page has been shut down, I've actually made more money off of this than you have, and that is called winning. But I know that it's never going to stop until we work to dismantle patriarchy within ourselves and within our society, within our community. So it will last until you can dismantle an imaginary regime. Fucking banging. Six months' time, I can afford a new telly. Both things have to happen simultaneously. There are resources out there. Talk to your people. What do you mean, your people? Talk to your family. Talk to your kids. For God's sake. Teach your kids that rape culture must stop. Teach your sons. Teach your daughters. Teach your queer and transgender children. Teach my transgender ch- Am I watching an episode of Queer Kids stuff? That they don't have to take this and that they won't take this, they shouldn't take this, and that you're gonna stand with them to make sure that it stops. Because I promise you, all of you fathers out there, and all of you mothers out there, your daughters have gone through what I've gone through. Zana, no one has managed to dig themselves as deep as you have. No one has gone through it because everyone is smart enough to know when they've been beat. You don't even have an opponent anymore. You're just whacking yourself in the face with a saggy tit whether they admit it or not but my elders and my teachers and everyone that i respect has taught me that the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth is what will set me free and i believe it will set you free too 
Oh, well, you're fucked then, aren't you? Let's face it, Zana, you tried to raise a shitstorm and it blew up in your face. And as much as I've complained about making these videos, I've actually really enjoyed watching your demise. So long, Zana. It's been emotional, and thank you for all the money that I've managed to raise from making these videos. And when Google signs that check, I am sure they will write the white patriarchy on the dotted line. And you know what, Zana? That means I have finally profited off of your trauma.